Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, test a login on WordPress. So what we're going to do is set up the whole program in Python uh, using Selenium and uh, pass a username and password to the correct text boxes, log in, and then verify that the login actually happened. And if it doesn't happen, it'll give an error. So let's get right into it. In this tutorial, we use three imports. The Selenium import for the web driver. We use the Selenium import for the by library, which allows us to select the uh, elements. And we use the service uh, library to set the location of the Chrome driver. Now that we have those three libraries imported, we set the location of the web driver by going creating a variable calls s s equals service Chrome driver. Now this corresponds with a specific place uh, on our computer containing the driver. And then we do driver webdriver.com and we pass in the service equals s. So we pass this variable into the into the Chrome method. We do a driver dot get. And this is going to open the web page where we'll be able to log in. WP admin. So let's run this here and I'll show you how far we've gotten so far to make sure everything works. Kind of a little stopgap. Okay, so we've opened the the login page. Great. Let's close this out, get back to work. So we have a temporary password, which I assure you will be deleted after this video. Uh, BS pass one two three exclam three four exclamation point. And we have a username which equals John's admin. Make sure those are both in quotes. Now, <clears throat> if you remember, let's open this back up. There are three pieces we have to interact with on this page. Piece number one is the username. Piece number two is the password. Piece number three is the login button. So let's get those three items right now. So the username, we have to find a way to select this element. And we can select it by ID, because that looks pretty unique. ID equals user login. The password also looks pretty unique. So ID equals user underscore pass, OK, user underscore login. And then we have the login button itself, which is going to be ID WP dash submit. Super easy. And there's also a name of WP submit. So we have those three items, user login, user pass, and WP submit. Do you see those right there in the ID? So we're going to uh, do a find element and select it by ID. So what we do is let's start with the username box and do username box equals driver dot get, or no, I'm sorry, find underscore element by equals, I'm using the by library, by dot class name. Right, and if you recall, the class name had a value of Oh no, I'm sorry, not class name, by ID. And the ID had a value of user class. User or no user login. Okay, and then we're gonna do dry or I'm sorry, user box, username box dot send keys and the keys we send are going to be the username easy and we're going to do password box equals driver dot find element 
by equals by dot id pass in the value which is going to be equal to i think it's what user underscore pass was that it user underscore pass And we're going to do password box dot send keys and then password. And then we have to click the login. Whereas the login is WP submit. So we're going to find it by ID and log in. Login equals driver dot find element by equals by dot id value equals this let me just double check it id wp yep and then what we have to do is we have to click it so we do login dot click and that'll click the submit button and yeah so let's test this and we'll do our login opening up a new window and Username, password, click the login button, and we're in. Okay, so now how do we uh, how do we actually test whether or not this happened? Well, something will happen. So we're going to look for some indicator on this page that we're on uh, the back end or we're in a login screen. So we can use this one here, this display name. See how it says my the display name of the user? And that would be John Admin. John Admin. And where does that live exactly? John Admin lives in the class display dash name. So we're going to do display underscore name, create this arbitrary uh, variable, driver dot find element by equals by dot class name pass in the value of display dash name and then we're going to make an if statement if display name is equal oh no I'm sorry display name dot text is, is equal to say John make sure it's capitalized J-O-N John admin uh, we print login successful you can wrap that with whatever logic you like this is just more of an abstract way to do it John's admin open the page we've we're logging in and login successful great so let's see what happens if if we mess up the password Yep, there we get an error. All right, so you can probably wrap that in a try catch block, however you want to do. And yeah, and there you go. That's how you test your login uh, for WordPress using Python, Selenium, and Chrome Driver. Thank you very much for watching. If you uh, got anything out of this, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe as well. Because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. Have a good one. Bye bye.